I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, when we started our YouTube channel a few years ago, we just were starting a place to park a few videos. And, um, you know, and, and I think very quickly we realized that what we were putting out there was different than what other people were doing. It, it ha has a quality, it has a lyric to it, it has a rhythm, it has a narrative, and it's really fun. And um, it's been really cool to see so many people coming on and, and watching the videos and subscribing to them and getting into them and commenting on them. And then with um, COVID and us reaching out to the community for translators, actually seeing this community get involved and getting uh, really involved in the ground in translating a lot of medical videos for the public good. And that's just been a really interesting and amazing mm -hmm. testament to the power of a huge audience like this. So I'm thrilled to uh, unbox this YouTube award for 100,000 subscribers. It's really exciting to me. We're in educational video content. We're not supposed to have this many interested people. And uh, we do. And it's awesome. So... That's what I have to say today. And uh, Stephen, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Well, thanks, Zach. I, again, um, we couldn't be more proud or excited about this moment uh, and to share it with you, our audience, uh, uh, our community. Um, you guys are the backbone that make this work really exciting. And uh, to get it out there worldwide and have it shared and used in other schools and just by people uh, just interested in our content, it's, uh, it's really cool. So... I guess uh, I guess we'll do this. Break that baby open. Okay, we have um, of course Sam McGinnis and Paul Moller with us. Say hello, guys, while I do this. Hey, everybody. Two of our amazing technical producers had a lot to do with this moment. Well, we're just starting to. Oh, hello. Stephen, what are you seeing over there? This is crazy. This thing. <laughs> it's good. It's good. That's oh. protected. <laughs> okay. Little protector sleeve. Okay. Okay. I like that. Oh wow! So this is very cool. I will maybe take a moment, and we've got a, a letter from from YouTube team. signed by Susan oh. herself. Wow. Yeah, by Susan, the CEO of YouTube. So um, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor, too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Nice. Here we go, folks. The moment we have all been waiting for. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. And here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. So shiny. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't think it would be that nice. I don't know what I expected. I, I you know, yeah. I've always, you know, we've won awards before and it's usually, you know, a piece of paper we print out and it's nice and yeah. it's great, but this is really something. Yeah, That's gorgeous. it's really beautiful. And it's, uh, yeah. I want to say a thank you here, if I, if I may. I know I may not be coming in that clearly from my undisclosed location in the woods, but... Um, I want to thank um, the three of you. Um, you guys have made this happen. Um, over the years, we've worked many, many hours, often without thanks, to make these videos come to life and make them 
as good as they can possibly be and as incredible as they are. So um, I want to thank uh, our associate producer, Stephen Gillis, our technical producer, Paul Malaire, and our other technical producer, Sam McGinnis, for just putting in so much work over the past um, 10 years in putting this together, releasing these videos, and building this uh, incredible audience. So thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the the faces and the minds behind all this amazing work, and um, way to go. Well, thank you, Zach. Uh, it's, it's too kind. It's a, a team effort, and the leadership that you provide us uh, always makes this at least at least to me i don't want to speak for you guys but i'm sure you feel the same it's it doesn't even feel like work half the time because it's just a joy to create with you guys and uh and i think that shows in our work and i think that's why it resonates with so many people because we have a lot of fun uh and a lot of amazing experiences creating this content so so thank you to the team and and to our audience and to zach absolutely big kudos to you zach only 897,000 more to go <laughs> yeah so uh anyone watching please subscribe yeah please subscribe like share comment yeah share <laughs> share with your network but uh it's really exciting so now it's the march to one million guys that's right so and eventually we will get this back up in the office when we're when we're allowed to go go back uh as you can tell we're all at home um so should we should we take it yeah. to our hometowns like the stanley cup yeah, everybody gets a day with the uh, a day, a day with the trophy. Yeah, that would be great. So I was thinking that maybe for the next uh, couple of minutes, you know, like this, this is great. This is an honor. This is amazing. And we've all made stuff for the YouTube channel, and we've all been involved in projects, led projects, been a part of projects. And and I wonder if we could each talk about our favorites. Uh, maybe pick one okay. thing and why you why you love it. Um, sure, I can go first. Um, so my favorite video that I was a part of that went up on YouTube was the distancing together video. Um, we put that together sort of as the quarantine had just begun and there was a lot of anxiety and sort of negativity and uncertainty, uh, in everyone's lives. And we asked our audience members and fans and family to submit videos of them, uh, enjoying themselves in quarantine. What are these things unexpectedly that have been a positive for you? You've been able to see family more often. You've been able to, you know, reconnect with your kids or reconnect with your partner or spend more time at home. So, like, we wanted to, sh like, show us that. Show us what that looks like to your family. And there's a lot of silly submissions or a lot of fun submissions. Families having fun together. And uh, I combined that with some footage I shot around the city of sort of the desolation and the emptiness. And we use that to contrast. So it's like the nice warmth of the family moments with like the world is kind of empty right now. So uh, I was proud of the sort of uh, ethos behind that video and was really happy with how it came out and that we were able to leverage our audience and our community to sort of create it together. So I thought that was interesting and, and really fulfilling for me. And I'm proud of that video. Stephen Gillis, you want to go next? Uh, sure. Oh man, it's it's so hard to choose a, a favorite. I mean, I have so, I have so many. I guess I'll choose the one that that has kind of become pretty close to my heart. Um, of course, uh, as a documentarian and, and coming from documentary world and film, um, I do have a really soft spot for our Dr. Hardwick uh, documentary. Uh, just he's such a, an amazing man and such a huge impact on BC and in Canada and medicine and the medical students and he created so much and changed so many things to be able to kind of honor all his work uh, over his many years at UBC still lecturing right now at 85 uh, to kind of honor his work and showcase uh, you know his life and what he did in a, in a short form I think was um, was really special and of course just near anatomy like i i love everything we do but that one's just a little uh, personal for me because um he's he's a special man and uh just doing that documentary uh taught me a lot about uh context and how to approach things so uh yeah i really enjoy that one paul oh hard to choose so many memories and so many fun projects um but one that comes to mind is probably uh the reentry circuits uh video that i did uh a while ago with uh abe uh where we featured abe a student at the time uh doing his sort of analogy on reentry circuits and how reentry circuits in the heart are kind of like 
you know, cars moving on roads and, and it was really uh, awesome to hear his analogy on the concept and share that with both the students as well as the world. Um, and it's, it's really encouraging to see that it's, uh, it's really been well received on YouTube and people are, are really identifying with uh, his analogy and how it helps. Um, and it was just really fun to, to make that project happen. So that was a, that was a good one for me. What about you, Zach? Yeah. Uh, so there are a lot. Um, I think of the puppet shows we did around statistics um, as just something that we built from, you know, it was almost like a dare. You know, can we make a film on statistics? How about a puppet show? And then we, we did it and we put together this thing that is, you know, it's both got this kind of rough DIY thing and it's got this magical realism and it's funny and it's, you know, it was made with cardboard and, and, and I love that we did it and did it, you know, extremely low budget and put it together and made it, um, just made this, this concept of how many fish are there in a lake come to life in this really amazing visual way. So I love that one. Um, I love dementia because it's moving and small and, you know, based around this one person's story. And it's, it's really something. Um, and of course I love, um, of all the seasons we did of neuroanatomy thus far, thus far, um, I love the last season we did the season three. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it led us in a direction that I wanted to go from the start. Um, it's almost poetic at times. I think it's quite beautiful, and I think the learning is still really strong. I think the 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 way we get across anatomical concepts, I think of balance, the way we explain balance in the inner ear, um, the way we explain how pain works. It's really powerful, and it's really an example of what you know a very small team can do um, when given um, the time and the flexibility to do it. That's that's you know a really first rate, beautiful piece of work, and. Um, I'm proud of it. I'm also proud of it because for those of us who are involved in season three of Neuroanatomy, I don't think anything went according to plan. We are beset with all sorts of issues from location issues to power issues to permit issues and just all the things that can kind of crash a production happened. Um, and, you know, when we finished, we, we wondered if we actually had the season in the, on the, on the memory cards and, and, uh, and we did. And I think it came together really, really beautiful and post production beautifully in post-production and I, I was really really proud of how that turned out so um there i give you three answers i'm sorry i made you guys choose one and i picked three it's all good yeah. and and let us know uh our community let us know what your favorites are uh in in the chat uh in the comments uh you know you're very good at letting us know uh but we'd love to hear if you have a top five or a top ten uh maybe you have to go and look at the channel uh at some more videos to fill that up fill that list up but uh, please do Thanks, everybody. And um, I'm going to sign off and say thanks to our audience and keep watching. More amazing things are yet to come. Well, that, that's awesome. Uh, I hope uh, a lot of you are talking with us in the chat. Uh, we're going to be over there. Um, and again, more content coming. We have some exciting podcasts uh, coming on our podcast network. So you can check that out on Spotify. We're going to be doing more stuff with the stories now to let you know about that. So you'll see some changes in new content coming up that we're really excited to share with you. Thanks, everyone.